right, we're going to start off with, uh, it's holiday time, so we're going to do a family game, a nice family game to start with. Is there anybody here willing to give a little bit of information about their family, share that with us? You, could you come on up? Uh, what's your name? Monica. Monica, all right, Monica, have a seat. Um, have a seat there, okay. Monica, we're going to get a little bit of information about your family, okay. um, and you get to pick these lovely people who you want to play members of your family. So okay. uh, let's start off with, uh, a, let's imagine a dinner. I assume you would be there, right? Uh, yes. For the sake of the game, let's yes. Who would you like to see play Monica? It doesn't, it, anybody. It's, I think on the end. The end? Okay, the end. <laughs> Dan's going to ask one, one question about you to learn a little bit more about who Monica is. Monica, if you could take one thing with you to a desert island, what would that be? All seven Harry Potters. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, who else would be at a, a family gathering? Who else would be fine? Uh, I guess my brother. Your brother. Okay, what's your brother's name? Alex. Alex. And who would you like to, who do you think best represents Alex? Probably you. <laughs> <laughs> Or Alex's favorite hobby. Actually. What's okay? What's Alex's? Shooting guns. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, Alex, what's your favorite hobby? Uh, my nephew. Your nephew. What's your nephew's name? Evan. Evan. Who would? Who do you think should play Evan? Uh, I don't know. The middle. Okay, okay. a partner. Okay. Uh, Alex would like to She makes this noise. Ding! Okay. okay, that means, yes, that would actually happen. Okay. If they do something that's incorrect, it would never happen. Mm -hmm. You tap her other hand, okay. and she makes that noise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, so you've got to go practice one more quick time just to review. Ding! Okay, and be gentle. Okay. Um, <laughs> whenever you guys are ready, we're going to act out a scene of Monica's family. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Everything looks wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my family's coming over. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> We've played for Monica. <laughs> we'll put the gravy right next to her. <laughs> we'll put the fruit right next to Monica. <laughs> She behaves herself. <laughs> and little Evan, little Evan's favorite pie. Oh, yes. 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 Maybe Evan should sit further from his mother. <laughs> Such a bad influence on the child. <laughs> Monica, I let myself in. I Alex. You can hear the bell. That's okay. <laughs> what? It's okay. Sorry, I bit the range. 
Yeah, you look at me while you're talking. Okay, thanks for coming. And... <laughs> okay, thanks for coming. Whatever. <laughs> Did you pick up the wine? Ding. Uh, I forgot. I'm so sorry. And... Yeah, I got the wine. I got the wine. <laughs> Good! Yay! All right! Ding. Wonderful. When's Monica arriving? What? Monica, you're... television except basic school, uh, and there are no local networks, so you do math. Um, so, so they're going to share a, a tale from their land with you, um, and they're going to do it seamlessly with one another. So they'll be speaking as if it's uh, really one voice uh, emanating from them. And if they should talk <coughs> their tongue or pause, uh, stutter, it's our job to uh, sort of gently uh, nudge them out of the story circle by chanting, Die! 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 <laughs> Can we do that? Die! 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 die, die. die. Fantastic. That's the Christmas story. Um, so, so before we begin, we just need a title of a story. So a completely made-up, fictitious title of a story that you think you'd love to hear. Santa kills the Grinch. <laughs> 
What was that? Santa kills the Grinch. Santa kills the Grinch. Oh, I think that would be very popular. In the uh, fantastic. We're going to tell the story now of Santa kills the Grinch, chapter one. The Grinch lived in a castle across the lake. And he spent many years just looking at the princess across the river, who <laughs> used to actually dress, undress in, in front of the mirror. In fur stoles made of red and white mink, and she... She loved to wear these things out about the town, but she never uh, could figure out how to tie her necktie. For <laughs> <laughs> special occasions to impress the Grinch. The Grinch, however, was very unimpressed with her fashions. He glared at her. He spent so much time just... <laughs> die! Die! <laughs> Santa kills the Grinch, chapter two. The Grinch wasn't satisfied yet. He wanted more from this woman. He wanted to marry her because he knew that her father would not agree with this. So he went to Santa's kitchen. And he made some poisonous biscuits. <laughs> biscuits? That were very disgusting. Santa <laughs> caught him in the kitchen. Full of trans fats, putting them in the oven <laughs> and baking them for three hours at 350 degrees. <laughs> very, very precise, the Grinch. He said, Martha Stewart has nothing on me. The Grinch laughed his Grinchly laugh. Yeah, Santa Claus moved closer to the Grinch with his hands open to grab him from up. The Die. Place where with the knife and handed it to Santa Claus. Santa licked his lips in bloodlust and held it. Then he laughed as he beheaded the Grinch. <laughs> beheaded, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Santa kills the Grinch. Uh, chapter the five. Santa Claus took that hand, put it above the mantle, sat in his chair. And laughed. Ho, ho, ha! Little did he know the Grinch is also Hydra. Hydra, the monster underwater. That means he has extra heads so they regenerate, so his- The princess showed up at Santa Claus's North Pole. But she was immediately devoured by Hydra from the murky depths. He <laughs> ate her and then he spat her out on Santa's lap and then chuckled her the shell out. And he said, sit. Uh, Santa, I brought you one roundhouse kick to the face, but I see I'm too late. <laughs> That's a good little boy. Keep- Keep eating your cookies and vitamins. And you can grow up to be like the Grinch. But not regenerate heads. It's very. <laughs> Mrs. Claus stepped into the room with a tea. Oh. And she oh. <laughs> Santa kills the Grinch, chapter 12. <laughs> the Grinch didn't know what to do next. He'd taken everything Santa could get. And he had even eaten Chuck Norris's heart. Chuck Norris, who was devoured excessively. The face off of Santa's extra elves. Hell! became lifelong friends. There were plenty of time for them to chum around because it was very cold and they were very... And the Hydra could do the work of eight elves easily by... A... And 22 reindeer by pulling the sleigh and making... Mrs. Claus do it for him. <laughs> that hurt to do it twice. Uh, and the Hydra and Santa did all the Sudoku books. There were plenty of heads up around the North Pole. The only problem was... That the Hydras didn't like ice. They were used to water, which is... Cold and frozen <laughs> in the murky depths of the North. Up in Die. the Pole. Die. <laughs> Santa kills the Grinch, chapter 31. Santa turned to the Hydra that he had adopted as his newfound daughter, and he said... <laughs> from the North Pole. To Fort Lauderdale, Florida. <laughs> it's about time we took advantage of this great place where the Jews are nearby. <laughs> <laughs> he really was in the corner that market on dreidels because that's what I'm looking for. They can work every Christmas Eve and, <laughs> and <pull up. laughs> to night in a Miami heat wave. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens. Those Jews will suddenly turn less Christian than they were. <laughs> they weren't even Christian in the first place. <laughs> because they were around long before book signings exist. <laughs> Know that Miami Heat lost the final? If, if 
in the last game of basketball? A pop would deliver. And the hydra said, I don't actually follow the game. So I would like to drink your blood. Blood, if you don't mind, this is all big bruise. And My heads are throbbing and I need your blood, Sam. Santa didn't even wait a second. Because Chuck Norris was coming out of his arms. <laughs> I'm 
there because the nights are so long. Ah. So long. Congratulations. Uh, so the next game we're going to play is uh, is called a chain death murder, and for it we actually require three of uh, our playful players uh, to exit the room. There's a there's a guessing aspect of this game, and so uh, so the three who are who are going to to leave, great, uh, just head out uh, that ways, that ways, and we will scream for you um, when it's your turn to come back in, right? <laughs> Through both doors, <coughs> both doors, right? They are not going to listen in. Fantastic. So, uh, so from the audience, we're going to get three things: um, a location, a celebrity, and an object. And these three things are going to be deployed in the scene, uh, culminating, uh, well, in an obvious culmination. Um, and they will be guessing this in sequence, right? So, um, please refrain from yelling out what the answers are, because uh, their job is to try and guess them, right? So we don't want you to uh, cheat them along. Right. Um, so, so our first ask uh, is, uh, we need a location, someplace Mount like Kilimanjaro. What was that? Mount Kilimanjaro. Great. Mount Kilimanjaro. Wow. Mount Kilimanjaro is our location. <laughs> Fantastic. I love it. And we need a celebrity. Right? Shaquille O'Neal. Um, I heard Shaquille O'Neal. Um, so Shaquille O'Neal. Great. And uh, an object, something. A metronome. A metronome. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just uh, fantastic. So, so we all know what they are. It's, uh, and a metronome. Are we ready for some holiday murder? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! Let's welcome the first player in! Call this! Call this! Call this! Call this! Ha ha ha! 
Excellent. Our next uh, game that we're playing is called Puppets. Um, and we'll do, need two volunteers from the audience who don't mind actually making physical contact with the players. One, 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 two. Beautiful. Come on up. As a matter of fact, in this next scene, they're not going to be able to move anything without your deciding to move them for them. They can talk and they'll go through the scene, but you have to move their arms. And if you want them to walk, you just kind of bump their leg. And you just kind of work with it like that. So they'll enact a scene, and all we need from you guys out in the audience is a location. <coughs> spaceship. A hospital. A spaceship. I heard spaceship. Aruba. And should we get See that out there? That's Earth. That's what was once our home. That's right. <laughs> so I'm so moved by it. I go weak, weak in the knees. I want to be closer to it. But alas, it is no longer. I have a question, Dad. <laughs> Okay. Please, just please, just, just, just please. Pay. Can I, can I get a word? In? You don't have to raise your hand. Okay. You know, I'm sorry. Um, we're the only two here. All right. Uh, so are we never going back to Earth ever again? We are never going back to Earth, son. Shake on it. Put her there, pal. It's me and you out here for the rest of the time. But then. Why couldn't we take mom? Why don't we just come by ourselves? She committed adultery, son. She committed adultery. She doesn't deserve a caring husband like me. Why would she cheat on you, Ted? And then she went to heaven. She went to heaven without us. She doesn't care about either of us. That's why. She's heartless. So, you... You, you didn't have anything to do with her going to heaven so abruptly, did you, Dad? <laughs> well, I didn't try and stop it. <laughs> I didn't help. Well, can, can we at least get me a new mother so that I can grow up with a real childhood and not just grow up bitter like you? Right there, pal. Shake on it. <laughs> ah, huh? yes, Is that what you want, man? <laughs> going to take a look at a uh, talk show, sort of an expert talk show, but uh, before we can play it, we need to know from you, the audience, what is it that you want to know more about in life? <laughs> Anything. If, if, you could, if you could wake up tomorrow morning with an expert's knowledge in something, what would it be? Baby Facebook. Uh, baby Facebook. What was that? Baby Daddy. Uh, Facebook and Baby Daddies. <laughs> um, uh, thankfully, uh, both of those topics are about to be covered. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Lucene Tryptophan Show. I'm Lucene, and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at two very important topics, Facebook and baby daddies. And how do Facebook and baby daddies affect each other? What effect does Facebook have on baby daddies? What effect does baby daddy have on Facebook? We have an expert here today. He happens to be a baby daddy who is on Facebook. Everyone, please welcome Brett Ploppy. Because I don't get anybody pregnant. <laughs> Nobody can prove it. I don't, I don't, I don't care what Larissa says. I don't care what you say! <laughs> oh, Brent, you have so much to learn. See, Clarissa set up a Facebook poll. And everyone on Facebook says, you're the baby daddy. Clarissa, come on out! <laughs> Because honestly, I don't understand it. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Uh, me 
website? <laughs> Pretty close. It's a website with people's faces on it. That sounds crazy. Let's take a look at a video of a baby daddy using Facebook. <laughs> Guess, 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 guess. Well, he's mine. He's mine. 
Well, I was really in my head during Transformers 3, so it could have been Buffon. But you were really into a lot during that movie. <laughs> but you came to popcorn stand, and what we had was sacred. <laughs> Was sacred. Well, Brent, it looks like someone is going to be around for Transformers 4. Oh, wow. Yeah! yeah. Well, there you go! Yeah. Oh, it's actually Clarissa. It's Clarissa. <laughs> Oh, hell no. <laughs> poke, you don't poke off of Facebook. <laughs> <laughs>